Hello and welcome, and I would like to show you something pretty neat. It's this guy. What is it? An LED speed display with turbo functions and locking mechanism. Just like in the old days on those retro machines, those 486 machines where they would have, you know, uh, the speed set statically on there like a 166 or a 66 megahertz indication display. A turbo button, a reset button, and a locking mechanism. I've got those recreated for this modern machine running Windows 11, and I have put my own little twist on it. So, what's the twist? This is, ooh, I gotta glue that in. Um, so this is the processor speed in real time for my machine. The machine is communicating up to the microcontroller that is in here letting it know its current processor speed and it, the microcontroller is displaying that on the screen. And you want to see what the turbo button does. Ooh, fancy flashing lights. Makes it look like it's working really hard. But what's going on here is uh, when I push this button down, the microcontroller is sending information via serial to the computer that it wants to enable turbo mode which really is just a energy plan or power plan set on the machine called Turbo and is essentially just high performance power plan. So with Turbo off, we are on a balanced power plan. With Turbo on, we are on the high performance power plan. So clock speeds might increase just a little bit on the machine. And if you've looked at videos on this before, changing power plans does really not does really does really nothing for you especially on a desktop when it comes to performance because even though you're on a balance plan and you bump it up uh you, you put more load on it like you're playing a game that clock speed will still go right up to the max regardless of what power plan you're on but it's really about the base clock speed on these power plans so if you have it on balanced you're you're going to see a lower number on here than if you would if you had it on turbo um, so that's interesting. That's how turbo works on this, uh, on this device, switching power plans out on the windows machine. Now I wanted the display to have a little bit more useful information than just the clock speed. I wanted to add a little bit more gimmick to it than it was already gimmicky. So this is not a reset button. This is a toggle button. It says GPU. What does that mean? That means GPU utilization in percentage. So currently 0% of the GPU is being used or very little at all. It's just, it's just sitting there menacingly. Um, next is network and really not much going on there either uh, at 0%. So this is in megabits per second. And then this next one is RAM. This is total RAM utilization in percentage. So 42% being used currently. Set that back to CPU. And what does this guy do? I have a key. I turn it. It says lock. What are we locking? Huh, that's weird. My network's down. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this turns the network on and off. Why? Why not? Well, really, I have my boys come on here and play Steam games. And, you know, they get on the internet sometimes when they're not supposed to, so... I can just turn this off and, uh, you know, they can play games, but they just can't get on the internet. So maybe there's some functionality out of this, something useful, rather than just being a, uh, a tchotchke for your five and a quarter bay. But let's see what's inside here. Open. And I'm using this just to pull out the, the tray. It's not necessary for to open, but this tray is packed so it's hard to, oh, it's hard to get stuff out without breaking stuff. Or really, it's this microcontroller that's just barely fitting in this tray. So this tray that I have here is made by uh, Easy Cool. Um, I have that information, all the hardware information, all the all the things that I bought to make this in my GitHub repository. So run through that list, see if it works for you or not. Um, I have changed the faceplate on this with a 3D printed uh, faceplate that you know made the 
the uh, the square for me and the holes needed to put these components in. Um, I was thinking about using, I don't know, some finding some way to cut perfect lines with the existing faceplate, but that that's just not happening. But this turned out pretty well, and the tolerances are pretty good on it. Um, so if you want to go down this route, I, I, I highly recommend 3D printing the faceplate. But inside here, we have the microcontroller, the ESP32. I've actually used an Arduino with this in the, in the initial stages. So, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly this board. It doesn't have to be an ESP32. It could be an ESP8266. It could be an Arduino. You may have to make some changes. Um, but, you know, based on if you change boards, you're probably going to have to change pin, uh, pins that you're using. Um, but other things in here. So the locking mechanism I got from eBay. These are from SparkFun. This is a latching button. This is a um, momentary button. Uh, I bought this from Proto Supplies as well as the driver, uh, the LED display driver board back here. Um, and this is just this big rainbow cable. It's just going back to it. So there's like, I don't know, about 10 wires that go back there. And then five wires come out of here and go into the uh, ESP32. Uh, there are five wires that come out of this. And we're only using four because the one that we're not using is called um, normally closed or normally open. I can't remember. But it's a green wire. I'm not using green wire here. We're just using four wires. Two for LED and two for the switch uh, function on the buttons. And then this one is just two wires this is a digital lock so when you put it in the lock position it either opens or closes the circuit and then since then that then the controller will pick up whether the circuit is open or closed and will you know do whatever accordingly in the code to uh to react to this so of course when you go there it'll display lock this will tell the display driver to you know show lock and then actually the communication between this microcontroller via USB into this machine, they're communicating back and forth via serial. So the microcontroller will tell the computer what state it's in. So if you have this button down, it's constantly streaming turbo, 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 turbo. Through the serial connection, you change the toggle to GPU, it's gonna be streaming turbo GPU, turbo GPU, turbo GPU. And the computer will take it in there's a PowerShell script that reads the serial information from the microcontroller and does its logic depending on what it sees in that, you know, stream of messages. So if it sees turbo in the serial messages, it's going to enable turbo. If it sees GPU in the serial messages, it's going to start collecting GPU information and streaming it back up into the microcontroller. Um, I have two services running. Uh, in order for this to work on the machine, on this Windows machine, and any Windows machine. Um, kitty cat sitting down on my, my chair. Excuse me, kitty. Um, so one PowerShell script is running as a system service, and another, and it's running in the background, so you'll never see it. <coughs> and another one is running as a system tray icon that you can do a couple of uh, configurations on here. So you can change the brightness on the LED display. So when you click on that, you can put a number one, zero through 15. So if we say zero, click okay, and we change it, then you see it dimmed a little bit. That you can't tell very well on the camera, but we can turn the brightness back up to 15, and that might be a little bit more noticeable. Up, tells me 15, so it confirms that I've set it to 15, and it got a little bit brighter. We are we have options to set the serial device, so when we have this, um, if we're changing the serial device, we can do it here. But this is the device that is this microcontroller. It's, it's based off this name, so that's where it's currently set at. We don't want to set it again or change it. Uh, we can view logs. And these are the logs here, Lot, lots of trash. But down here is kind of what I was talking about. So 
it's constantly streaming this stuff every half a second or every second um, telling you, okay, I, you're in CPU mode, I want you to turn turbo on, and the, um, the lock is currently unlocked. So that's what the computer sees and will make decisions uh, based on the information that it receives. And the network adapter, so we use this to choose the network adapter that we want to enable and disable when we turn that lock on and off. And I'm currently on, you know, Ethernet 8, so don't need to change that either. So there, it's a combination of, you know, the microcontroller code and then the PowerShell code uh, working together, communicating with each other, and sending messages back and forth in order to make this happen. So that's uh, that's been what, what, what I've been up to for the past uh, couple of months on my uh, on my nights of free time and uh again everything all the the hardware list the the software the wiring diagrams uh example pictures and stuff like that are all in my github repository which i'll have linked here in the description and um yeah that's uh that i'm gonna call this a, a wrap for the most part uh i gotta find a a certain point to call this project done because you know I keep adding on more and more features and things I'd like to see so I, I think this is pretty much there I think we're pretty much good to go uh, again I made an install script that would hopefully install all the PowerShell components for you pretty easily uh, I've tested it on a couple of machines that had, had not had the software on it before uh, and it works out pretty well but make sure to follow the instructions uh, in the github repository on the readme and uh if you have any questions you can ask them on the youtube here or in the github you can i guess put an issue in i don't know I, i've never done that before but uh i hope this uh this is something you enjoyed seeing watching and if you want to try that yourself uh good luck um and that is i have nothing else to say so yeah thanks for watching Bye bye